Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Greg Tech New Horizons. How are you guys doing today? How's life? You might be asking yourself Lush, what the hell happened? You have an iron helmet, a beautiful pants, tinker stuff, a bed, a furnace, and beautiful eyes. How did you get all of that? Well, I can assure you, minus the beautiful eyes, I work really hard for the rest. And everything started with a terrible spawn. This is the worst place to spawn. How am I supposed to go down? I think the first quest was gathering eight pieces of dirt. Then I need logs and gravel. The quest book tells you that, hey, get some gravel. And you cannot find gravel anywhere. Oh, there is some here. It is very good to know that there is no infinite water source. So here is your quest, give me my torch. We also need three pieces of flint. And we get rewarded one flint. Obviously we need to be extremely fast, this is the recipe for a crafting table. Poison IVs are a thing. I think the first tool that we have to make is a shovel, so that we can get gravel easier. And then make an axe, so that we can get wood easier. How do you make bread? Oh. Then no. You might notice that food is an issue. You have fire aspect but you're not cooking the food. Interesting. But you do cook the pork chops. Turning into nighttime, we have hardcore darkness, we have infernal mobs, so we need to hide. Can I move the torch? That was a bad idea. Although, now that we have some time to ourselves, let us fix some of the quests. I did make a crafting table, and you're going to give me two apples. I'm not going to read that, but you're going to give me one steak, a pickaxe and a hoe. Well, I can make the pick. And maybe we can spare the remaining flint in order to make one chest. So that we carry less garbage on us. It is early morning of the next day, we should do some chores. And by chores basically I mean gather some gravel, some wood, more wood, and more wood. Now that we have a decent supply of flint, let us make a hoe so that the quest is complete. Oh, and that will give me a loot bag. But we take the flint. I'm poor. You need one stack of cobblestone. But to be honest with you, I'm actually more interested in a bed. The problem is... This is the recipe for a bed. Oh no no no, that's not the worst part. This is the recipe for a fence. Get over here my pillow. We have found loot. 11 tin ingots. Nice. And I think we have also found a village. And yes, I do understand that this is not a village and it's a roguelike dungeon. But this is 10 times better. I have food. And a free furnace. Oh, you can't break them. But I do get a bed. Some pants. More food. Some saplings. We take the bed. We go home. That was a very weird cow. It is night time. Can I sleep here? And skip the night. Okay, that's good. Because there was no way in the world that I could reach home. So the recipe for a fence was invalid. And you have to have a screwdriver and some screws. This is why we had to steal a bit. Also, I'm assuming before food turns into an actual issue, we should do some farming. Nothing too fancy. Some strawberries, some potatoes, and whatever else we get. Cotton is also good, I guess. And finally, some mushrooms. We have pans, so squids should drop something. Yes, calamari. I'm assuming a furnace is something that we can afford. A bit of an overreaction, but okay. I'm just interested in having some cooked food. That's it. Anyways, just in case you're wondering, charcoal is not an option. If I give you 8 sticks, you will give me 5 carrots. I'm gonna take it, because I'm starving. But let us also plant like 3 of them. I already made a chest, you're going to give me another chest. Thank you. And if I give you an apple sapling, you're going to give me cherry sapling. Why not? I like cherries. Oh, it's night time. We close the door and sleep. I think our best bet for survival is to go and explore. Oh, rotten flesh. Yummy. If we manage to find a village, our lives will be so much easier. That's not good, but that is good. Yes, you see, exploration actually pays off. Berries are nice. Oh, there is another roguelike dungeon. Perfect. Uh, do we find anything of interest? Unbreaking tree. Highly durable. Of course I'm going to take it. And the bed. I forgot that we have Tomcraft. We should avoid the obelisks. Yes, a village. Finally. I cannot find a door, so we kind of have to make our own. Of course the first place that we're going to loot is the blacksmith. Cold coke, bread, a decent helmet, a steam engine. That's perfect. Also, we should probably skip the night, otherwise there's not going to be much left of the village. Oh, wow! A tinker's hut! We hit the jackpot! So obviously I cannot carry everything with myself, so we're going to carry a few fences. And considering this is the recipe for a door, I'm going to take one door. Apothecary. With nothing inside. We're going to take the stencil table. The parts are not very useful. The part builder is useful. 
we have all the patterns. I think we are done. We can go home. Of course, I have to visit here one more time because I cannot take everything with me. You should remember that I still have to make it back home and it was almost 1000 blocks. So long story short, we're here. Anyhow, food is an issue and we need to start solving it. I had a lot of mushrooms but I did not have a knife in order to make a ball. And apparently, this is how you make a knife. And this is how you make a ball? Nice. I think one very important thing that we should do is that we have to visit the village one more time. There is a lot of loot that I did not manage to bring back home because I was running out of inventory space. And also I did not manage to get all the patterns from Tinker's construct. Holy, what is this? Coal. I want coal. What kind of a creeper are you? He's dead. So finally we should be able to make some torches. Okay, that's not good. I have no idea what that thing is. Yes. Blueberries. I was looking for them. This is a quest. Is there a witch inside? Nope. So that means I can go up. Uh, there's just a cauldron. We take it. Just in case. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. There were two tinker huts available. I did loot one of them. The second one should be intact. Oh, they do not have a pattern for rods. Okay, then we have to make one. But at least in the meantime, I can take you. We have a copper binding, which is not that bad. And also a guard. And one iron chisel head. Oh, you can't make it. Okay. I thought we can get fancier than cobblestone, but apparently no. Silky comb and scoop. Oh, it needs a mining level of iron. Okay, that can wait. Oh, that was a quest. For carrots? Really? We take the loot bag. Yes. Food. Also, if I'm not wrong, in the guard tower, we should be able to find some armor. Well, a fish. It's not the worst. I'm not going to lie to you, our food situation is not the best, but it's improving. The issue that I have is that food actually does not give you that much saturation. I have finally made it back home, let me gather a few stuff, get organized, and I'll be right back. Okay, we have a decent supply of food, we have 6 torches, and we have some tools. Let us focus on the quests. One of the quests is that we have to make a flint sword. The reason that I'm focusing on doing some of the quests is that some of the rewards are actually great. This one was not actually that great, but you know what I'm talking about. You need 6 blocks of wool, we take the loot bag, obviously, and that gives us a zombie head. Nice. Kill 5 pigs. Okay. Also, since we are playing on a very old version of Minecraft, this is what happens when you don't follow the quest. I have killed 5 pigs, but it didn't count. Look at all those blueberries! I think I needed only 5 for the quest. Yes, we take blackberries. Why not? This is also complete. Perfect. And the knife also counted. Very good. Oh, it gave us a better knife. I think. These are probably notes that I should read, but it's okay. You will give me a blaze powder? One more important quest that we have is that we need to gather 64 cobblestone. And I think we can just gather it from here. Oh, this is coal. Nice. We have 48. I do have a little bit at our home, so if the pickaxe actually breaks, we're still fine. Oh, we got it. Nice. We have already made a furnace, so we're going to take a loot bag. And that will give us coins. I really don't know what to do with the coins. Oh, it was not coins, it was fences. And one very important fact, I'm taking my torches. Torches are expensive. We also have a quest that I have to have one potato, one cooked potato, and one stick. I don't really know what is the point of having a potato on a stick, but we will comply. Oh, I have to choose. I don't know, give me sticks. We have already made the soft mallet, but it's not counting for some reason. So we need to craft it one more time. And the bed also counted. We take the loot bag. Oh, it was not choice, you get all of them. And a door. Okay, by getting the bed, we have advanced to the next age, which is the stone age. You need one sand. Which for us is going to be easy peasy because sand is everywhere. There you go. And that will give me a launch bag. That is what I wanted. And instead of carrying a lot of food all the time, we can put some of that inside the bag and we can eat. Oh, now you want 128 sand. That's not gonna happen. So now that I have my lunch bag, let us focus on tinkers. In this mod pack, getting the tinkers tables is already a challenge, but thankfully we already have them. But we are missing a few patterns and in order to make patterns, we need paper. And paper is not very cheap. This might sound like a very stupid idea, but I have a lot of cold coke. So we're gonna use that in order to smelt items. If we want to have paper, we need a water bucket. A recipe for a bucket is not going to happen anytime soon, but we should be able to make a clay bucket. So this is why I'm gathering a little bit of clay. Oh, you're mature. 
That took ages. I think we should be able to make a mortar, piles of clay, and combine four of them in order to get a clay dust. And how do we make you? We need five. Okay, we have plenty. So there you go, unfired clay bucket. So we get some water, we get some wood pulp, and we get paper. And the way that you get wood pulp is with a mortar. That's it. It's not a very complicated recipe, it's just very manual. And that should give me a pattern? Yes. Because in this modpack we actually have the iguana tweaks, so your tinker tools are going to get upgraded. We just need the tool rod. Of course, all the heads are going to be made out of flint because we do not have access to any other material. And I did manage to find some bindings in the village. So we use copper and, I don't know, slime? So ladies and gentlemen, this is our first tinker's pickaxe. And of course the shovel. And we also go for a hatchet. Oh, it's night time. I should sleep. Now that we have tinker tools, maybe I should start gathering the sand. We need two stacks and eventually we're going to use it anyways. Although I'm not exactly sure, the durability of my shovel is 113 and I need 128. So it's going to break. I should have checked the durability before I came out of the house, but it's okay. I can harvest the rest. We have the two stacks and I don't know, we go with a loot bag? Give me the world breaker. Bone meal. So basically you need 128 gravel and 25 stone. Oh, but you will give me a chisel. I'm so happy. Hello. <laughs> also, ladies and gentlemen, we are relatively rich. So we're going to have our first piece of automation for the furnace. Because I'm actually burning cold coke and I really don't want to waste it. And this is a very old version of Tinkers. I don't know how to repair my tools. So it's just like this. Ah. I don't want to mess up the area that I'm living in, so we're going to look for gravel, I don't know, somewhere over there. You're a rooster. And you drop turkey, okay. Gather two stacks of gravel, and I think we're going to go with the bacon cheeseburger. I have also made 25 stone, and of course we're going to go with the chisel. And we have already made a mortar, so this one counted as well. The bucket is going to be a challenge because I also need to gather two stacks of clay and my food situation is not the best. So let me try and fix our farms and I'll be right back. I know what you're thinking, that looks garbage. I know, but the issue is that this is Greg Tech and you cannot even make a slab without having a saw. I tried to steal slabs from everywhere, but I was not very successful. So for the moment, it's going to look like garbage. Anyway, now that we have a place that we can call home, let us focus on the quests. I got 128 pieces of clay and I claimed the two bacon sandwiches. They were yummy. But if we want to go any further, we need more sawdust and we need more paper. Crafting it is not something super complicated, but it's just painful. But I'm assuming the quest is done. Perfect. Oh, I have to craft them. You. Are you sure picking them up is not going to count? Nope. You have to craft it. Well, I did steal some fences. That should save us a little bit of time. So here is a stencil table. The part builder is going to require string, which I'm assuming we should be able to get it from cotton. So cotton gives you cotton. And the other cotton gives you string, okay. If I have not messed up the recipe, this should also be our part builder and the tool station. And after a bunch of needless crafting, a pattern chest. Okay, the book is not that bad. We take it. And after a tremendous amount of literally needless crafting, this quest is also done. I'm going to take the loot back. Give me something useful. That's not useful. Well, it's dies. It shouldn't be that bad. It seems that our next task is to try and make a pattern for bricks. We did all of that in order to make a coke oven because now we need to gather 104 of the bricks which is basically a lot of clay and sand. The question is, do we have enough? That is 63. It's not enough but we're not doing that terrible. We need a little bit more sand. So I did bring a little bit more sand. Let us see where we stand. Yes, we needed 104 and we have plenty. We just need to cook it. Our food situation is also getting a little bit better. We have grapes, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries and blackberries. You might notice a pattern. Coke oven bricks. A complete multi-block produces 20 pollution per second. We have pollution? I'm guessing it's not something to be worried about because a furnace also makes 20 pollution per second. And in the meantime, I can fill in the water sources that I have removed. I hate flowing water. 
There is a quest that you have to hand over 10 logs and it will give you 3 cactus for infinite water. It's written finite but you know. Oh you can make cactus juice. And then you can have a bucket of water. It's not really worth it. I think that is an optional quest just in case you did not find the cactus. We did manage to get the coke oven bricks and I'm going to set it up over here. I think the middle block is going to be hollow. We will see. Yes. According to the quest book, our next task is to get 4 pieces of charcoal. That will take a bajillion years. But maybe in the meantime we can do something slightly useful. I did manage to find some resin. Yes, 2 pieces. And with 3 pieces of paper, we can make an extra lunch bag. Cause in this mod pack you have to eat so much that uh, one lunch bag is not enough. So you shall have all the berries. And you shall have the rest of the berries. And I'm guessing that is a very good thing because I don't have to carry 10 different types of food at all times. We also have a quest for killing 6 cows and the cows that I have killed so far did not count. So we just have to hunt a few more. So what do you give me? Steak? Okay. Also just in case maybe we should get a little bit more resin. And maybe a sapling? Oh yeah we got it. Good. Because I do have a funny feeling that two launch boxes is not going to be enough. I mean at least until we get to the proper launch box. So ladies and gentlemen, we have one bucket of creosote oil and we have four charcoal. And therefore this quest is also done and what do we take? A bucket. Oh this one unlocked quite a bit so it seems that if I manage to get 256 pieces of cobblestone, it will give me an iron pickaxe head. I think here is what we are going to do. The durability on my flint pickaxe is 113. So we're going to take the tool forge so that we can repair it on the go. This seems to be a very nice hole. We're going to dig here. Plus one mining level. Malachite. Is it copper? Yes, that is copper. We can just melt it into ingots. That was lucky. Repair number one. Repair number two. And that should be enough. Oh, you're going to consume it. You jerk? It's fine, it is going to give us an iron pickaxe head and we're going to take the shovel. And now we can go and hunt iron. Perfect. So can I like upgrade you over here? Yes. We just have to make sure that the tools are fully repaired. If you look at the top left hand corner of my screen you might notice that if I move to this chunk, it will tell me that this is an ore chunk. Because this is great tech and every single ore that we have in the game will generate in veins and very large veins. Why can't I sleep? Okay, and if I'm not wrong, iron is limonite, so we have to get lucky. What was that? Oh, that is iron. We were extremely lucky. We have hit the jackpot. Under our base. And you can see that the veins are actually huge. We need torches. So this is called banded iron that will give you iron. So basically it's just iron in different colors. One thing which has me very confused is that we were in stone age. So what happened to copper and bronze? We're just skipping to iron? We got one more modifier. What does it do? Oh, I have to add them. You might notice that I'm not very good with 1.7 tinkers and also Greg Tech. So the question is, we can just smelt you, right? That's malachite. Iron. Because I need to repair my pick. Yes, we can. So can I repair it? Perfect. In that case, I'm going to go back to mining because we need 72 ingots. I did manage to gather a decent supply of iron and I think we should have our 72 ingots. We have plenty. This should be 72. Pumpkin pie or a loot bag? Loot bag. I should have gone for a pumpkin pie. But here is the main point. With that quest, we have unlocked something incredibly important. The important tools. I don't have that much experience with Greg Tech, so I have no idea what the proper tools are. And if you look at the recipes in the JEI, for example, I don't know, a slab? Everything requires a tool. Even look at the recipe of a fishing rod. Or the iron ring. So my main goal was to try and unlock a quest which will tell me what the main tools are. And since we have already reached it, I think it's a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye. In 1.7 when you're walking backwards, it looks weird.